hello and welcome to this short video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn the most commonly used selection tool known as magic wand tool I'm sure the all the new designers they are all familiar with this tool but they do not know all the settings linked with it so after watching this video you will be able to play with all those settings and you will completely understand this tool and all the techniques linked with it so uh, to start with uh, we all know that magic wand tool is a color based selection tool which means that it selects something based on its color so if I will click on something it will select all that area which has that that particular color and in this video I will also explain the tolerance value of this tool how to change that tolerance value and what are the effects of changing that, that tolerance value so uh, to let's let's begin so I have uh, I've got this image it's uh, it has just one layer and in this um, and in this image I'm going to show you how to use this magic wand tool so here it is from uh, in the menu it's the fourth one and you can also select it by pressing the W key now I have selected this image especially for this tool it has some vector shaped apples in three different colors so like I mentioned earlier it's a color based selection tool so if I will click on this area it will select the red part okay if I will click here it will select the green one so I'm going to click here and now as you can see I will zoom in to show you now you can see that it has selected this red area however you, the boundary of this apple which was a little darker it has not selected that one it has only selected this red area so this is how it works now I will disable the selection by pressing control D for D for disable now if I will uh, click on this green area it will select the green one if I will click on red one it will select the red one so that's the basic functionality of this tool now I will explain some settings for it uh, if you will um, uh, view this thing closely you will notice that there are some f uh, four kind of boxes over here and if you're uh, right now I have selected the f number one which is for single selection and if in this case when I click on this red box you see that it has selected the red area and when I will click on the green one it will select the green one and it has now removed the selection from the red area immediately because this is single selection which means at one time I can only select one color one selection so however if I will click on this box which is add selection so if I will click on this thing and now if I will click on red one it will add both of these now you're seeing that and now if I will click on yellow it will also add this so it is not removing the previous selections it is adding more selections so now if I will click on this red tick mark it will also select this one in addition to the previous ones so this is how we add selection now I'm going to disable these selections by control D now this one is for removing the selection if I will show you how all these selections were made if I will click on this thing and now if I will click on this red one it will remove this particular selection from the major selection like that I'll click here it will remove the selection so this is subtracting the selection this is adding selection this is making single selection or new selection this is um, for intersecting selection which means if there are two selections it will select the overlapping area anyway these were the basics for these four options now I'm going to explain the tolerance value of this tool okay right now it's 25 I will I will show you what does it mean tolerance value is linked with the intensity of selection you see I will zoom it in to show you this thing closely now if when I click on this particular area it selects the red one however it leaves the boundary outside which is a little darker because it is not exactly this same color now if I will I will disable the selection and I will increase the tolerance to so let's say 100 okay so when I increase the tolerance it means that now my tool 
is more tolerant it will treat all the shades as one color it means if I'm, I'm giving this tool red color it will also treat this one as red so now I'm going to click here and you will notice that it will also select this color which was not in its radar previously so here we go I clicked here it has also included the darker area and in the selection okay so this is a tolerance value so in your work if you want to select some particular color and you want to be very specific about it then you should have a lower tolerance like 10 or 20 something like that so in those cases it will only select that particular color however if you want to make your selection loose or a little lighter then you can increase the tolerance value give something bigger and here we go now it will also select the other shades linked with that color I hope it was clear now the last thing here to understand is the reason I have placed this red tick mark here which has the same color like this apple is this option saying contiguous okay now here in these cases uh, you can um, all these examples I was giving you when I clicked it selected the color let me decrease the tolerance value to default one okay so when I click on this part it only selects this red color however if I will uncheck this box saying contiguous if I will uncheck this box and then what does it mean that now I've unchecked it so when I will click on some particular color it will select that color in all my image I mean it will select it wherever it is it does not matter that it is linked with it it is directly connected with it or not for example in this image we have got two pieces of red um, objects one is this red apple and one is this red tick mark so if I will click on this apple it should also select the red tick mark here because I have unchecked the contiguous now so I'm going to click on it and you, you have noticed that it has also selected this red tick mark same goes for opposite so if I will click on this red tick mark it will also select the red apple okay so it is selecting the red color wherever it is in the document so this is the contiguous option I hope you understand all these settings the major ones the other ones are irrelevant so these things how to add selection how to subtract selection how to make single selection and I'm sure now you understand the tolerance if you increase the tolerance your selection will be loose and if you decrease the tolerance then your sele selection will be very specific and to the point and the contiguous thing that you can with the single click you can select some particular color wherever it is in your document now the last thing which is a sort of a warning I have this image now you need to understand that this tool this magic wand tool is suitable for these kind of cases which has vector based color or plain colors however if I will move to this image as an example this is a real image in this case the using magic wand tool is a very bad idea because it has uh, thousands of colors here in each part so if I will try to select this parrot here using the magic wand tool you will see that it's it is not going to happen I mean because the tool itself is confused and it is selecting these areas in broken pieces the reason is that because there are so many colors and because this is a color based selection tool so it is not going to identify that okay what are because each part is different from the other one based on color so I'm going to disable this selection using control D so my point here is that do not use the magic wand tool for this kind of cases and if you have this kind of case then this tool is a perfect option for you I hope this video was uh, very helpful to you if you have any questions you can comment um, below the video do subscribe to this channel and do like this video thank you